Three journalists were killed early Friday in an Israeli airstrike on a guest house in Hasbaya, southern Lebanon, according to Lebanese media. The fatalities included two journalists who worked for the pro-Iranian outlet al Mayadeen, along with a cameraman from Hezbollah's al Manar, as reported by al Mayadeen. Reporters present at the scene stated that the guest house where the journalists were sleeping had been directly hit, suggesting it may have been a targeted attack. The Israeli military has not yet issued a response to the incident. Ghassan bin Jido, the director of al Mayadeen, said on the channel's X account that the occupation's targeting of the journalist's residence was deliberate, and there are injured journalists from other Arab channels. We hold the occupation fully responsible for this war crime, in which journalist crews, including the al Mayadeen team, were targeted. The deaths come just a day after an Israeli airstrike targeted an office used by al Mayadeen in Beirut's southern suburbs, killing one person and wounding five others, including a child, according to Lebanon's health ministry. The Lebanese army reported that three of its soldiers were killed on Thursday in an Israeli strike on the border village of Yadr as they attempted to evacuate wounded civilians. In response to recent escalations, the United States urged Israel to take precautions to avoid civilian casualties and to ensure the safety of UN peacekeepers and Lebanese army personnel. The Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ, reported that as of October 24th, at least 128 journalists and media workers had been killed since the start of the Gaza conflict. Among the fatalities were 123 Palestinian, two Israeli, and three Lebanese journalists. The conflict's intensification has fueled a growing humanitarian crisis in Lebanon, with authorities reporting over 2,500 deaths and the displacement of more than one million people due to Israeli airstrikes. Thank <laughs> you.